Hey everyone, so this is Native Grower's House and today we're doing a new test on double-ended 1000 watt HPS bulbs. Now the reason we're testing these bulbs is because they're supposed to be possibly toppling the single-ended, which is the standard 1000 watt HPS bulb we're all familiar with, as the best bulb for indoor growing. Um, the reason that they say these bulbs are better, which we're going to test today, is that their double-ended design actually makes the bulbs uh, more stable, allowing the bulbs to actually have more intensity with the same amount of wattage. And they say the bulbs are designed to have a slightly broader spectrum than traditional 1000 watt HPS bulbs. So what we're gonna do is put those claims to the test. Um, uh, the last claim, which we can't test today, although we might do it in the future, is that these double-ended bulbs are actually supposed to last longer and degrade less quickly than traditional HPS bulbs. And they say after 10,000 hours, they're supposed to have 90% of the intensity of uh, the bulb when it first starts out, when it's ignited for the first time. So we're going to put these bulbs um, in different fixtures, these double-ended, and compare them to traditional HPS the Hortilux 1000 watt Super HPS in a Magnum reflector, which has been, you know, for a long time, I would call the industry standard for large growers to use when they're trying to cover a lot of area and get the maximum yield possible. So we're gonna see if we can topple that reflector um, with these double-ended fixtures, testing them in the Gavita 1000 watt complete fixture, the E Papillon from Dutch Garden Supplies. We're also gonna put them in a adjust a wing for double-ended bulbs, and we're gonna put them in the New Sunlight Supply air-cooled double-ended reflector. And we're gonna use the same exact ballast and the same exact bulb um, for all the double-ended ones, which is the Philips Green Power um, bulb, and then the Galaxy Grow Amp 1000 watt select a watt ballast. And um, other than that, we're gonna use our PAR meter to see what the intensity is over a four foot by four foot growing area. And then we're also gonna put these two different types of bulbs under our spectroradiometer, which is gonna show us the exact spectrum that these bulbs will be giving off so that we can compare them. So let's get started and uh, see what the results are. So here's some of the test data. And the first thing I wanna show you is the spectroradiometer readings for the Hortilux 1000 watt HPS and the dual-ended Philips 1000 watt HPS bulb. So you can see from the graph that we have below the relative intensities of this light in different spectra. So you'll see that these match up. Actually, they're pretty close to each other. They're very similar. But you'll actually notice that the double-ended graph um, for the double-ended bulb is actually a little bit uh, wider. It actually has a little bit more of a broad spectrum. and that's the one to the right that we're looking at. So I would say that, you know, when they say that the spectrum is a little different with those thousand watts, they're true. And it was even a little bit more broad than what we consider the best traditional bulb on the market, single-ended, the Hortilux thousand watt Super HPS used on a digital ballast. So next we have the readings on of the Magnum um, over a four foot by four foot footprint at 24, 30, 30 inches and 36 inches. And you can see all the readings for the PAR numbers that we have from the center to a one foot by one foot square, two foot by two foot square, three foot by three foot square, and four by four foot square. And we have these for all the lights, including the Gavita, the E Papillon, the double ended adjust wing, and the double ended air cooled reflector. And if you want to look at this data very closely and even download the, uh, the raw data in Excel sheet, then we make those available below on our blog. And you can simply scroll to the bottom, download the sheets, view them at your leisure, and look at them for as long as you'd like. But other than that, this is Nate from Grower's House. Uh, another interesting test and more to come. If you have any um, tests you'd like to see, write it below in the comments. And other than that, happy growing.